Hey everyone, it's me, Crystal from ArmorLife101.com. So I actually had sat here, recorded a whole six minutes of video about my feedback for last, well, what will be last night's Army Wives recap. And of course, stupid YouTube or my, my stupid internet decides to go out. So now I have to record again from my husband's laptop. So anyway, tonight's episode. Let me just say, is it a bust or what? Um, they had a fun run which they were raising money for a good cause to send military kids to camp, which is fine. I like how they depict that because that is true. There are military kids um, or there are programs for them that sponsor them to go to camp, so fine. Um, the people participating in this fun run were, the main characters were Roxy and Pam. Denise's sisters came to visit and they winded up participating. The whole episode basically focuses around this fun run. Roxy's really competitive about it. They're going up against some marine wives and they wanted to win, else they were going to have to sing, like, the Marine hymn at, you know, the, uh, the hump bar and all this stuff. You know, kind of a stupid little thing if they, if they lost. So, Denise's sisters come to visit. Basically, her sisters are very competitive against each other. Denise has always played the referee between them. And, of course, it was very, um, predictable. You know, they fought throughout the whole episode until finally Denise just snapped and was like, you know, Roxy and Pam and them are more like sisters to me than you guys ever were. And, of course, that snapped them out of their, you know, whole arguing thing. And, of course, they were apologetic. And they, at first, were being very competitive in the fun run, which caused um, Roxy and them to kind of lose and, and, and not be ahead of, as ahead of as they could have. And then, of course, one of the sisters fell and messed up her ankle, so they had to do, you know, carry her back to the finishing line, and it was a whole bunch of whatever. I mean, uh, it was something to watch. It wasn't as good as, you know, I wanted it to be. Of course, the big hype was that, you know, um, Vice President Joe Biden's wife, Joe Biden, appeared on tonight's episodes, and I like that they talk about, you know, bringing awareness to what we as military wives go through, because we do go through a lot, and I'm glad somebody's drawing attention to that, you know. And, of course, I'm getting on my soapbox here, but while we sit around watching TV shows, reality stars thinking they're celebrities, and, you know, all the crap we dis discuss that means nothing in this world, it's our husbands and wives and brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers who are on the front lines fighting while we sit here and act like stupid people for nothing. So, yeah, <laughs> not everybody, but in general, the world, you know. Um... So it was nice to see that, you know, there is some awareness, whether you are, you know, no matter what side politically you're on, awareness was brought to this issue, and that's important regardless. So that I was appreciative of. Um, Joan didn't really do anything this episode. Chase was in this episode. Um, he basically decided to seek some advice from Roland. He wanted to call it advice. Roland said it's counseling. It doesn't matter. In any event, the, the, the advice kind of backfired because Chase finally confronted Pam, and he flipped out on her and blamed her for their marriage being broken up. He came back to Roland and basically said, hey man, the advice you gave me, it backfired on me. You know, I, I'm, I'm more madder now. And Roland told him, hey, you know, this is a breakthrough. You gotta crawl before you walk. Chase doesn't see it like that. He blames Pam for their breakup. Chase fails to see that uh, a lot of this was him. And Roland told him that. And of course he walked out because he doesn't want to hear it. But we all know where that's gonna go. He's probably gonna go home, think about it, and realize that, hey, it wasn't all Pam. Um... The biggest scenario tonight was, of course, um, Jeremy Sherwood, um, Trevor and them came under some fire. They were basically almost about to be hit by a truck that had explosives in it. They, they were all unharmed. Jeremy did take some shrapnel to the arm. And, of course, um, one of the kids Jeremy just happened to be playing soccer with at the beginning of the episode um, was one of the people killed you know, civilians killed in this. And, of course, it hit him. And, of course, I was just like, oh, man. He just got over this PTSD. You know, as you know from the last season, his friend got killed in Iraq. And he took it really hard. And he developed, I guess, a form of PTSD. And, you know, he, he, he got better. He went to counseling. Well, was counseling him and so forth. So now I was just like, oh, man, I hope this is not going to, you know, make him backslide. But he went to his counseling. He's going about things the right way. Of course, you know, the woman he was interested in, Gabrielle, lied to him last week. And basically, well, she told him she had a fiancé. This week you find out that it was because um, she didn't really have a fiancé. She just, you know, she's not there in Iraq for long. She's there in the Green to Gold program. She's going to go to medical school. She doesn't want to be involved in a relationship, but she really likes Jeremy. So that's what that was. I don't know why they decided to make it all dramatic. I mean, I don't know. 
but you know so that was like kind of the dramatic part i do like how frank interacted with jeremy when he found out you know that his son had one through this he did take notice that you know hey my son has been through something and this might affect him so i'm, I'm liking that that frank is still sticking to the person he was michael holden didn't really have any major part in this week's episode claudia joy didn't have any major part like i said joan had made no major part um let's see Roland did the counseling with Chase. I'm just trying to remember because I tend to leave people out. Emmeline was supposed to participate in the fun run, but her hockey coach wouldn't let her because he didn't want her participating in anything outside of hockey that could be a risk of injury to her. Okay, I have to just, I've been waiting to get to this part to the previews for next week. Army Wives Creators. Now, I'm your biggest fan. You can watch my videos and know that I'm a faithful fan, a loyal fan. Um, but come on. Next week's episode is called Army Wives, A Murder in Charleston. Really? There was no discussion. There was no Roland, no Pam, no Trevor, no Roxy, no Chase, no Claudia Joy, no Michael, no Emily, no Jeremy, no nobody on the previews for next week. It has a well-known actress. You all know Gabrielle Union. Well, it's basically going to focus on, I don't even know what happened to Pam's partner, but now her and Gabrielle Union are partners. And if you watch any of my previous recaps, you know that that was one of the spoilers. They're supposed to be coming out with a show that focuses on Bridget Brown, who plays Pam, and Gabrielle Union, and their partners. Please tell me what this has to do with Army Wives. And like I was telling my husband, this is exactly what happened with Jag. Jag started off great. I love Catherine Bell. You know, I love uh, who, whatever the other characters' names are. I can't remember their names right now. But I watched that show faithfully. All of a sudden, Mark Harmon, who plays, what's Mark Harmon's name on NCIS? Oh, God, I forgot Gibbs. his name. Who? Gibbs. Gibbs, yeah. All of a sudden, towards the end of Jag, he makes these appearances, and what do you know? NCIS is developed. Same thing. And isn't it funny that Catherine Bell is in the show? Mm-hmm. So that's what's going on with that. There's really no preview. Next week, they're going to focus on a murder in Charleston. Pam and Gabrielle Union are going to be cops. Go figure. Army wives. A murder in Charleston. Nothing to do with each other except that the Army Wives is, you know, they live on a base in Charleston. Anyway, I'm at 7, 11, <laughs> 7 minutes and 12 seconds, and I was at 6 minutes and 4 seconds my last video, so <sighs> I'm mad now because I went over. But anyway, visit me at www.armywife101.com and fan page me if you like at www.facebook.com forward slash Army Wives. That's W-I-V-E-S 101. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks.